Hello, welcome back everyone. Today's discussion topic is petroleum assay and uh, in this video you will learn how to create petroleum assay in DW Sim. So first of all, let's have some basic information regarding petroleum assays. Petroleum assays actually includes crude oil characterization of whole crude oils and the boiling range fractions produced from physical distillation by various procedures. These procedures are standard procedures such as true boiling uh, point distillation and each crude oil type has a unique molecular and chemical characteristic and two different crude oil cannot be the same. There is always a crucial differences in their uh, properties and they cannot be used or treated in the same refinery and also uh, assay data help refineries to determine if a crude oil feedstock is compatible for a particular petroleum refinery or not. So let's move to the uh, today's uh, problem statement that we will simulate in DWSIM. We have to create a petroleum assay in DWSIM using the following data that we have received from petroleum testing laboratory. So we have actually here very limited data. One is the bulk crude oil properties in which the overall API gravity of the crude and the overall molecular weight of the crude. And also we have a data of a true boiling point uh, distillation uh, in, in the form of uh, a volume vaporized or we can say the distillate, percentage of distillate uh, against with the temperature boiling point. Uh, also the molecular weight. So just copy this data. We are going to use it in DWSIM. Okay, let's move to the DWSIM software. So here we are in DWSIM software. So just create a new steady state simulation. Okay, just close this uh, simulation configuration wizard. Just cancel it and go to the setting tabs. Click on it and this tag will appear. So first define the thermodynamic property package because we are dealing with purely hydrocarbons. So the ping Rubinson would be the uh, good option for this simulation. Just click on ping Rubinson and press add. And also from here you just specify the system of units. And uh, here I am going to select C5, which I have created for uh, default units such as temperature and pressure. So after doing this, just go to again compounds tab. And from here, uh, go to this button that is the start distillation curves petroleum characterization utility. Click on it. And then this new petroleum characterization wizard will open press next okay so now according to the data that you have uh, you have to select the method as i have a true boiling point uh, distillation data so for me that is okay but if you have differential distillation with no reflux differential distillation no reflux and uh, under vacuum and also simulated distillation uh, ASTMD287. So these are the standard procedure have been used to obtain this data. So the very uh, common one is the true boiling point. So we are going to select this one. So there are three other tabs. One is the molecular weight, specific gravity and kinematic viscosity. Uh, I also have a data related to the molecular, uh, sorry, uh, molar or molecular weights, but I do not have data regarding specific gravity and kinematic viscosities. Usually laboratories provide these two data and if you have these two data, you should also uh, click these two one and uh, according to the method uh, that was uh, used to measure the specific gravity you have to select this one and also the standard kinematic viscosity temperature uh, on on which temperature they are measured okay so you have to specify here but as i do not have these two data so i am going to uh, 
uncheck these two box okay and then it says bulk sample data and we have this data okay so just let's come here on powerpoint api gravity of the whole crude is 50.82 okay just press here 50.82 and the molecular weight is 300 okay so after filling this data just press next button and here you have a percentage of uh, vaporized uh, liquid that should be here the boiling point here molecular weight is here okay and uh, here it gives you the possibility to paste this data from microsoft excel i already have uh, noted down this data in uh, microsoft excel so i am just going to copy it okay and after that just press this one this button paste from microsoft excel so all the data will be uh, pasted here okay after that just press next so now you have a uh, very beautiful curves related to the percentage vaporized uh, in the x-axis and the boiling point and the molecular weight on y-axis okay so now just go to the next button and here you have two different option number one because here you have to uh, specify the number of cuts in your distillation towers so the pseudo components number of pseudo components means seven so there are seven cuts and also if you know uh, if you are doing simulation of uh, existing uh, uh, distillation tower so you know that at uh, how at uh, at which temperature uh, you have a cut so you can just specify the temperature of each cut and then just press next but here i do not have data regarding the uh, cut temperatures so i assume that there are seven uh, pseudo components so i will have total seven cuts in my distillation column okay so just press next so now here this is the uh, uh, final curve with vaporized uh, vaporized fraction uh, true boiling point uh, in y-axis and these bar graphs are showing the cuts so the first pseudo component is this is the first cut this is second pseudo component this is the second cut third fourth fifth sixth and seventh total seven cuts okay so after analyzing this data just press next and here there are different methods and correlations to measure critical temperature critical pressure eccentric factors specific gravity molar weight kinematic viscosity so uh, if you uh, have a specific requirement just go through these uh, uh, correlation and see uh, their specification so according to that you can choose and uh, here uh, i am also adjusting the eccentric factor to match normal boiling points okay so it depends on your requirements just press next And here we have uh, the complete data set in the form of petroleum assay that is the molecular uh, molar fraction, normal boiling point, specific gravity, molecular weight, critical temperature, critical pressure, eccentric factors and many other parameters okay just go through them properly and analyze so either they are meeting with your uh, current requirements or not and if you are okay with that just press this button finalize and it will give you a quick check report that the molecular weight specified 300 and the calculated one is 300 so there is zero percent error but api gravity is specified was 50 and the calculated was 64 so this error is because we do not have the data regarding the api uh, usually it is also provided by the laboratory uh, from the petroleum testing so if you add 
uh, API data as well as viscosity, kinematic viscosity data, then this error will be lower and uh, you will have a more precise data. Okay, so if you are satisfied with this data and uh, it seems it's logical, then you just have to press yes. So when you press yes, then so an oil stream having this petroleum assay have been created in the flow sheet. If you just click on it and uh, go to the input data, then stream condition, and then go to the compound amounts, that is the composition of the stream. So you can have all these seven uh, pseudo component, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and their respective uh, uh, molar concentration or mole fraction so this is the way uh, you can generate petroleum assay in dw sim so this oil feed or oil stream can be used as a feed for atmospheric distillation towers so if you like this video and you want to learn more about atmospheric crude distillation so just write in the comment i will make a video on atmospheric distillation tower uh, in DW same. So until next video, uh, bye bye, stay tuned.